too late. <laughs> Hey guys! Okay, so we've had a, a lot of questions actually on <laughs> too late. <laughs> we've had a lot of questions uh, from the last hydroponic video that we did um, on how we found our lights to be working for us through the winter months. So Mr. Wayne is going to explain. Okay, well, as Patty said, we're going to talk. We had a lot of questions about how the lights worked out for us this winter. Uh, as you can see down the greenhouse, we have two different colors of lights. We have the red, pinkish colored lights. Those are 150 watt LEDs, and here we have 200 white LEDs. What happened though this winter when we brought the red lights in, as you can see, the lettuce and the herbs went, worked fantastic under the light. But we had some issues with things like beet tops, Swiss chard, arugula. They wanted to flower on us after a while, so we switched over and we added some white lights and that seemed to clear up our problem. And as you can see over here, here's an example of the last of my Swiss that I'm going to get rid of tomorrow that started flowering because of the red lights. So right off the bat we learned there they like the white light because of the biocarotene in the plant. They all like the white light a lot better than the red light. And you can see with our beet crop now we've got them up out from under the lights. They're doing fantastic. But the one thing I did want to show you an example of with the lettuces, they're not all equal. Some do better under the lights than others. And we've narrowed it down to four varieties that we're going to grow from now on in the winter season. Uh, because they, they just produce so much better under the lights. We basically get three months of the year that we need the lights to add to the production. And you can, we could see it just by the customers that we kept all winter this year that we don't normally keep. We usually drop. We were able to not only keep them all winter, we were able to bring more to the market each week and we were able to add a 15 family CSA out of this greenhouse every week. So we're going to take a walk down I'm going to show you an example of probably the best variety that we have experienced growing under the lakes. Alright guys, on the way down I just thought we'd show you this, the bok choy. Phenomenal crop to grow in here. Especially in the winter months, uh, there's nothing that bothers it as far as insects or anything. And the customers just love it. Grows pretty quick. I've done some testing that's pretty comparable to lettuce. So the turnover is really good. So guys, here's what I want to show you. Here's a crop of Tropicana. Tropicana. We find it grows well all year round, but boy, under the lights, it just performed. Look at this blanket of lettuce here. You know, without the lights, we were getting one and a half to two pounds. Now we're up getting seven, eight pounds per trough. trough. You know, this isn't quite as big as it could get, but it's it's good enough. Tomorrow, I'm going to harvest these five, six troughs to go to the farmers market, and we'll average five to six pounds on this stuff here. So, you know, it's a great great crop to grow all year round. But as far as the varieties, this is one of the top. This is the top one that I would grow in the winter months from now on. And uh, like I say, there's two or three others, and we can talk about those later on. But I just wanted to show you this, how nice and even it was all through the whole. These are 12-foot trays, so that light is doing a pretty good job right through the whole length of the tray. So yep. anyways, and I know what people are going to ask, so I have these lights set up at 8 feet intervals. Mainly because of the, tr the truss setup, you can go closer, but I mean, that, it's working out pretty well. There's some good overlap. I have the 42 inches. 42 or 48, 248 inches above the lettuce. I've kept them that high just so I can lift my troughs out without banging on the lights. And it just happened already a few times. But and that's working. Yeah. So these lights, have, you know, I'm quite happy with the purchase. I basically feel they've paid for themselves this winter already. So, you know, everything from this point on is a bonus. So guys, if you have any questions about the lights, you can actually contact Dave directly, it's LED Solutions. Uh, Patty will give you the links and he can answer any technical questions you have concerning the lights. Okay, so look for the links below if you want to um, check out Dave's website and uh, ask him any questions you may have. He's the expert and uh, until next time, bye. See you later. I'm walking along here and I see Shane has uh, potatoes growing underneath the troughs. So how cool is that?